Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious coming at you with another video review, this time the Transformers Prime Cyberverse Commander Class Megatron Mini DVD included, which again is Masters and Students Hooray! I needed another copy of that! Yay! Thank you Hasbro for constantly putting this episode, alright, enough of that so as you see here, we have Megatron in his package. You can see him in there in his robot mode. He's really cool looking for such a small figure. I mean, for a pocket-sized version of Megatron, I'll take that. And here's his tech specs, if you want to read them. And there's his bio, if uh, the camera will cooperate. Let's see, can you read that? Uh, I hope so. If not, pause it, do the best you can. And... There's his robot mode, vehicle mode, command your world. Showing some other things. You got uh, the driller playset that's eventually going to come out. And the um, jackhammer playset that's going to come out. Wheeljack spaceship. So that'll be kind of cool. Alright, let's say we get this guy out of package and take a better look at him. Be right back. So here we have Megatron out of his package and in his space fighter whatever mode this is it's not bad I mean it's not as good as the uh, Voyager class which of course you know it's a Voyager class of course not but it's still for a small version of this this is pretty cool and got his blade weapon there's his cannon visible head which is you know pretty accurate to the show and you can see him here with his minion Starscream in his jet mode. Now one thing I forgot to show off in Starscream's review. You can actually take these tech specs things from inside the package of these Cyberverse figures and fold them and pull them off. They've, they're perforated and you can keep these uh, like the old tech specs from back in uh, G1 days. So that's a nice touch. I really appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to get Starscream out of the way, and we're going to get Megatron into robot mode, which is fairly simple. Just simply untab these, pull them down, fold them at the knee. Same thing on this side. Fold them at the knee. There's his legs. You can just untab his arms from each other. They tab in at the gun. Flip the gun around. And like that and you're just gonna fold everything down move his chest bits up and that's it as I said very simple transformation very simple that's the whole point of these cyberverse figures so he's really cool looking take a look he's got some nice translucent purple plastic going through him, which my lights are making glow right now which is a nice effect yeah I got some new lights got a new board so do some reviews Canon doesn't look too bad but I wish that it sat more so that this part here was over here but you know cyberverse figure can't really complain he's got good articulation ball joints at the shoulders goes out the shoulder has a ball joint at the elbow nothing in the wrist but you didn't really expect much nothing at the head no waist nice knee ball jointed hips though this one likes to pop off a little bit so you gotta be careful with that you can take this sword and plug it in right here so it's like on the show it has this sword weapon As you see, mainly due to his wings, Starscream is a little bit taller. Though Megatron's got a better foot and actually can stand better. That's just the nature of Starscream's design. So they look pretty good together. We'll get Starscream out of here. Now I'll show him off with the uh, Voyager version of Megatron. As you can see, the Voyager is definitely a lot larger 
but he's supposed to be. But you see, they got a lot of the same design aesthetic. And this is not a bad little version of that. He does have, it's kind of hard to see, but he does have a tiny Decepticon symbol right in there. The head's got some nice detail. It's hard to make it out on this camera, but he does. You gotta trust me on that. So that's it for this. Just figured I'd show off the little Cyberverse Commander Megatron. I've been wanting him for a while, so it's nice to finally have him in my collection. Don't know if I'm going to get any more of the Cyberverse figures. Um, I saw a bulkhead today. I'm toying with it, but we'll see. So, as always, you guys out there, be good. Megatron's watching you, even in tiny form. <laughs>